Men and women spend a lot of time and a lot of money to reverse the signs of aging. I have not had plastic surgery. Well, good for you. You look terrific. Oh, come on. At least you're lying through your caps. Look at you. You have been yanked and stitched and stuffed and pulled. You're a turkey. Oh, and what? And please who? Wait your ex-husband? No, to please everybody. To please everybody. Everybody. Men. Everyone. Women, studio executives, I mean, come on. I mean, youth and beauty, man. I mean, that's the ticket. Well, now Harvard scientists think they found the fountain of youth. A team discovered a six-chemical cocktail that reverses the aging process, quote, by several years, unquote. All right, so the question goes to our youngest on the panel, I believe, Tommy. I believe I am. Yeah, so would you take this 20 years from now if it said, all right, I guarantee I can reverse it five, 10 years in terms of aging? Five, 10 years is a lot more than a couple years, right? A couple of years, I mean, there's Botox, which is probably far more effective. Wow. Filler is probably far more effective, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the craze now, Ozempic, obviously very effective. Look at half of Hollywood, they're on Ozempic. So again, they say that this is experimental. I think it's getting people all excited. But I think that there are a lot of men and women in this country that would do about anything to reverse aging or to look better. So there's hope out there. I live in North Jersey, Kellyanne. <laughs> I believe you're familiar with that area. And boy, my, my wife works as an ER doctor, but she knows some folks that are in the Botox business and business be a booming sure. right now. Sure. So I would think that if this gets on the market, uh, if you can invest in it, probably a good idea to do. I would guzzle this down. <laughs> Uh, for sure. <laughs> Sign me up. I, Elon Musk uh, tweeted 5 million views or likes on his tweet. I don't want to go on SpaceX, but I want to be part of this experiment. It says that it restores the aging cells to the younger states. It's about cell restoration, which is a little bit different than surgery. Now, I've never had a facelift, but I would, and I plan to at some time when I actually need to and only have one. That's very transparent. I'm, for <laughs> sure. On national television. But I, I, do it. Well, no, and then I'm going to just tell people I had or I'm going to have it because I see all these people say, I have had no work done. Can can you tell? I mean, I'm 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 pro-life, pro-facelift. I believe I should do with what I want with my body and my money, so long as there's not another, not another heartbeat involved. But in this, uh, this is attractive because it seems simpler than all the things people are doing to look and feel better. And uh, I'm 56 years old. I weigh 120 pounds. Two things you're not supposed to ask women. So I told you my age and my weight. But it'd be nice to sort of stop the clock a little bit. Fascinating. We had the women's point of view, Guy. Now, now, how about you? You're still in your 30s. You're clinging, I believe, to... Uh, yeah, 38. 38. It's definitely Good late 30s now. 37 was the last year of the mid-30s. You could say mid, yeah. <laughs> is what I told myself. It's now just late 30s. It's like on the way to 40. I'm still stuck on pro-life, pro-facelift. Put that on a bumper sticker. I think there's probably a lot yeah. of people who agree Love with it. that. I don't know. I, you know, I, when I was even just a few years younger, I thought, oh, I would never consider any of this stuff. And then friends of mine, does people talk about this very openly, like, oh, you know, have you ever considered this? You should ought to be, at least think about that. I would want to see the effectiveness of this procedure or whatever it would be, this, this cocktail of chemicals. Well, you can other, see it on me. Other, other <laughs> scientists, well, I'm, I'm talking about whatever this is, this uh, fountain of youth thing. Uh, other scientists dismissing it as mostly hype and very preliminary, so I would definitely want to do the research. But to get several years back in terms of appearance, sure. I think 98% of people would do that if right. they were being honest. And 99.9% .9 of people in this business would do it because those TVs keep getting bigger and that HG keeps getting clearer and you can see every imperfection. Punishing. All right, lightning round time. Let's say a pill was invented and proven to be safe that allowed you to live forever. Think of the movie The Green Mile with Tom Hanks, okay? Would you take it, Guy Benson? No. Look younger for a while, yes. Live forever, no. Kelly Ann. Absolutely not. I agree with that. Really? I don't want to outlive my kids. Tommy? No, and look at this country, right? I, I don't want to see it fall. <laughs> I, I don't need to live forever. Let's hope that it's a, a long way in the future that sure. this country falls, but no, no, thank you. Wow. Yeah, I think the problem is that once the kids die and your college friends, your high school friends die, and then your grandkids die, like, who do you know? You didn't say anymore? no, though, Joe. What's your answer? I'd say yes, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Joe been... wants to live forever. Right. Major fear of death. Plus 97% chance that I'm going on the down elevator instead of the up oh, one. There's so. time to change that. <laughs> there is? That's good to know. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.